Hi, welcome to this tarot love reading. My name's Sophia. Welcome to this community. So I'm getting a few things. The first thing I'm getting is a sticky situation and something, and not only that, so there's something that's <coughs> off here and um, I'm also getting a sticking point. So this off situation is a sticky, this doesn't move forward, this sticking point, and this sticking point is connected to variations of love. I just quickly want to say as well, then I'll go into that variations of love, then I'll pull out the cards. But this sticking point is connected to um, this variation of love. Now, I just quickly want to say about <clears throat> this is connected to heartbreak. Um, heart, and there's a variation of love, heartbreak, three of swords. So this variation of love, I have to give an example here. This is like um, <clears throat> how you love how you love your pet, and even variations within categories. So you love your pet fish differently to you love a pet hamster, because even a hamster can, can have character. But then you love your dog more, right? But how you love your pet is completely different to how you love your kids. But how you love your kids is completely different to how you love your mum and dad. And some people might even really love their job, but it's not like how you love your kids. Variations of love. And this is what this heartbreak is connected to because it's going deeper, right? And this is connected to choices and obligations. So what I feel here is obligate. This planet isn't about obligations. We're here as twin flame light workers, star seed to teach people how to be free, and the freedom to make choices, freedom to choose, right? And um, but what this is is um, like I said, there's obligations in love and choices of love, and I'm also getting the the tower. So something's happened here. And it's affected both of you, but I feel it's going to affect, it's affected both of you, but it's going to affect your person twice. It's affected you once, it's going to affect your person again. And that's because there's a separation, but this separation, it's like as if the de divine feminines have an inner knowing that your person isn't, for example, going to change. So whoever they get with, um, this isn't about your person getting with someone. I feel this, this tower that's come in due to an obligation, right? <laughs> um, that whoever your person gets with uh, in the future, let's put it that way, they will still treat them how they treated you and how they treat you is not right. So that's why the, the feminines are going through heartbreak at the moment. But they can release that person because this is about the divine feminines choosing someone else that's suitable for them. The divine masculines now is um, choosing obligations, right? And that's what the problem is. And an obligation is like family, religion children that kind of thing but it's not that they don't love them but this planet is about a choice right so they're so it's quite hard because unless you're obligated to your person you're not going to get the same amount of love as the, the things that they're ob, uh, obligated to and you might think that well they work a billion hours they're still obligated to do it some of them obviously do it just for the extra money, right? It's not always that they have to work so many hours. Some of them do it for avoidance and etc. But I don't want to go off track because this feels long already. But this is your person saying, oh, well, I have to go to work. I have to be in this religion. I have to see my friends and family. I have to sort the kids. You, nah. But it don't mean I don't love you or I don't care about you, but they don't put all that love and care into you as much as the obligation. And that's where the second tower is going to come in because they will then realise when, when either losing you or meeting with someone else, 
for example, say your person is up in their ego, say, nah, it's you. You're the one is why I'm not with you anymore, right? This planet is about love, right? So you get someone else who they may perceive might be nicer, they still will want, and this is the key word, commitment, right? Feminines more so. And there's a, there's a, uh, I've got to go into this. Uh, this is all downloads, obviously. So this is like, so then they were going to like, oh, well, this person is still, it don't matter if, say, you're shitty with your person and they find someone, they're like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm fucking off Sophia. I'm going to get someone else who's more nice because Sophia is always moaning. Get someone who they think, right, is nicer. Sooner or later, they're still saying it will still be this obligation overriding the choice to love that person fully. <clears throat> That's what the issue is here. Now, <clears throat> there's a lot, so hold on, there was something else. So the only way how to override that with your mask with the masculine, your person, man or woman, <clears throat> is for them to commit to you. Then that will be oh equivalent as the obligation. Because you're not obligated to that person, right? So, but if they commit to you, but they won't. So, therefore, you're seeing it as casual. And that's what they say. Well, I've got to go and do this and I've got to do that. But if they commit to you fully, then <coughs> they will feel like the equivalent as an obligation. But they won't commit to you. This is why you only get one tower. is because there's plenty of people out there who want commitment. So, this is your masculine will be in the second tower of then, oh, shit, this is happening. The, until they learn the same lessons of the, the commitments, they need to commit. Now, the mirror, then I get into the cars. I'm sorry if this long. I hope this resonates for you. I promise you, well, I won't promise you, but pretty much I'm sure the, the energy of the cards are going to be what I'm saying here. I'm getting three of swords. I'm getting tower. I'm getting judgment. I'm getting five of cups. I'm getting five of pentacles, right? That's what's going on at the moment. So the mirror, well, it's kind of, right? Lessons, that's what it is. <laughs> Thanks to them lot, right? The lesson here, I've already gone into divine masculine, your person, man or woman is that they, they're they kind of like, it's like they know their obligations. They know what they need to do, blah, 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 right? But they now have to work on love. They need to fix their ass up on love. You, the feminine version, right, man or woman, but the feminine of this is they know what love is. They can commit to love. But they don't work on the other, the, 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 the friends, the family, the job, right? You just let your kids walk all over you. You just stay in a shitty job. And that's the kind of mirror here. They have to work on love. You have to work on what they've worked on. They've worked on their family. Do you see what I mean? Now, you might say they haven't worked on their family. They're still licking babies, my ass and stuff like that. But that is more, they wouldn't do so much of that if they worked on love, because that will then be like, well, no, I've got someone here who I love who I don't want to lose. That will lessen them to lick babies, mum's ass, lick babies, dad's ass, lick the, the family's ass. And they don't even see it that way. They just see it as like, it's love. I'm obligated. I've got to go and do that. But like I said, it doesn't mean you get less. Right. And that's what this the planets the Andromenums, right, <clears throat> all of them, right, upstairs, are all working at, at this divine time. Let's jump into the cards. I'm sorry it's long, but that's what I get is get. So it's, a, it, it's, it's like I said, the sticky point here is um, <clears throat> this cycle keeps going on. Your person doesn't progress you, so you remain casual. And, and they're deluded their self that because of they see you, because they might say they love you, because they're living with you, which is very rare, because they, whatever, I'm dating you, that that's commitment. That's not commitment, right? They're committed to the religion, to their family, to their kids, to the job, not committed to you, right? And that's what this lesson is here. <clears throat> 
and I I definitely feel, and I've been having this a lot, that the twin flames are separating and the twin flames, divine feminines, are going to go with soulmates because we're feminines. We want commitment. Regardless of my last video of all this, <clears throat> see, three of swords, because third party, third party isn't cheat cheating. Third party is what I said. Family, friends, blah, 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 right? Religion, tradition, right? The, the, the feminines <clears throat> will go and get someone who will commit. Regardless of my last video of like, you know, fire, flames and all that with your person, it will become the point of, well, what do I really want? What do I really want? And I feel your person's going to miss out on you. And that will be their lesson, this double tower for your person, which might be a dark night of the soul. If it's a double tower. For you, your tower is just this foundation ain't working. This ain't working. Sticky. It's just same shit. Sticky point of our... Uh, uh, and they think it's okay. I'll go see the kids. I, I notice this, and this might ruffle some feathers with fellas, right? But when men are single parents, they seem to say, I've got the kids. I can't see you. I've got the kids. I can't buy you that shit. I've got the kids. There's billions of single parent women that never speak up about, I can't see you because I've got the kids. I can't buy you shit because I've got the kids. So the, they need to learn to balance it out, right? That's what this is. Okay, let's jump into the cards. I don't feel this is just a kid's situation. I feel this is your person needs to... Um, well, it's their choice. It's not like they need to. It's like if they're not learning the lesson of, uh, this is so interesting as well, what I was picking up was getting a lot of downloads today, is that they might be in their ego and say, well, fuck off. I'll give my example. Fuck off, Sophia. I don't want to be with you, right? You keep moaning about me, uh, that I'm not committed to you or whatever, right? And whatever your scenario, right? And this is like, oh, I'll stay over here. I've got to see the kids. I've got to see my family. I've got to work a billion hours. This is like your person, whatever your scenario is, right? And you go, but, yeah, you obviously you love your kids, but the, the key is here, which you might not say to your person, but the key is you, the viewer, makes your person happy. I'm not saying, I hope this makes sense and you might get it. I'm not saying the children don't make them happy. I'm not saying the family don't make them happy. I'm not saying the religion doesn't make them happy, although really does it. But you are the one that makes them happy, right? They come chill with you, your jokes, you're funny. They know you're the person, right? But they put all that into something else. So they're like, oh, fuck you, I'm going to go, right? And it's like... Well, you're going to be unhappy and you're like, they think their deluded perception is, well, I'll just be unhappy then. But they don't like being unhappy because they've been unhappy and they know what unhappiness is. But they say, well, oh, I'm going to just be unhappy then. And then they get unhappy and depressed and then smoke more weed and do more alcohol. It's stupidness. That's why the divine feminine is finding someone else to commit to. Because the divine masculine will just go, nah, I'm just going to, well, leave it then. I'll find, uh, I don't know, I think as well, the divine feminine is at the point of like, yeah, go get someone else. Yeah, please go and get that other person and you will feel like a muppet that that person will soon say, well, can we get on Facebook together or can I see your kids? Or they still say the same thing, you jackass, right? That's what this is, the divine, the, the divine masculine is going to learn. Oh, shit, I've done this completely wrong way. All right, let me pull out some cards. <laughs> let me just start. Okay. Oh, I can sort that later. Something's been revealed here. Something's, yeah, something's been revealed as well. <coughs> Seven of Wands, Two of Swords, Star Card. <clears throat> the, 
this is about uh, is their person doing it the first card is your person uh this is about um i would say the responsibility is it the other way around and have it, having the strength to sort the responsibility plus go towards the back this is having a balance of going towards their passion at the same time I got another example. I apologize if this is long, but this is like um, you're halfway in a career to be a famous Hollywood superstar. I'm always going on about the, the famous, right? And this is like, then you meet the love of your life. And you're like, you keep putting the love of your life on the back burner and expecting that person to understand because they kind of met you in the position of you was halfway there to your fame and fortune with this scenario not necessarily seven of wands but like i said this is more of a download it's not really a download and knowing reading right this is like yeah you saying yeah i get it you're on to the your way of fame and fortune but you can still make time with me. We can still meet in between your breaks. You can take me on set. You can whatever, you know, call me a bit more. And they're just like, no, they're carrying on like they're single, right, but with you to their fame and fortune and naively thinking that somehow, magically, when they make it, when there's no end game, because that's why I said rich and famous, are famous because when do you know when you're going to be famous there's no like estimation with your person of when that will happen but keep you on a kind of a casual right but i love you so it's all right right well we're dating right but there's no escalation right but they're committed to working 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 and then right uh this is losing you Two of Swords is you, right? I think there's been an indecisiveness on your part of shall I go with my person or shall I not? Shall I go towards them because what I said, really? Seven of Wands is here. To me, it, it, my seven of wands is separated, six of wands here. This is other people. So they're victorious with the other people, victoriously still going with friends, family, drugs, whatever. But they're still all connected with me at the same time. So the two of swords is here is like, whoops, that way, right? Um, so they're kind of with me, but they're not. So shall I be with them? Because they haven't fucked me off and kicked me to the curb, but we're not fucking escalating neither, right? The, the, the scales tilt more towards the obligation, put it that way. But now I'm like, with this blindfold, you're like, nah, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to go there. You're covering your heart, right? You, you, you're on your knees. You're like, you've given up. You've given up on your person, right? You don't, you don't want to do it anymore. That's how I feel. The star card, like I said, this is some kind of planetary something coming here. Stars, stars and the planets. It's coming in here to make the changes for, you know, to heal <laughs> this situation, to heal you and all that kind of thing. This is about, um, yeah, your wishes, what you wish for. What do you really want? Right. And it's like, yeah, I really want my person. Say you're the, the divine feminine, which generally the divine feminine watches right? these readings, man or woman, generally divine feminine. Right. You're like, yeah, I really want my person, but I want to get married. I want a commitment. I want to have kids. I want to live with my person. I want to go travel the world. I want to be on their Facebook. I want to go see their family. I want to meet the kids. 
I just don't want to just date. That's this with the with the wishes with the star card. What is your wish come true? And that's what this is teaching you. And it's like, yeah, I've got this passion, wants, fire. You see all the fire and the flames for this person, and they are my truth. This person is my truth because you're kind of facing this person with the, with the two swords here, right? Yeah, but the other sword is another version of truth is realistically i want to get married i want to do this and i want to do that i want to do the other things so there are people that do want to commit there are men that do want to commit it's generally the twin flame masculine that has this thing about obligation that as soulmates that's why i've been saying this year i feel a lot of twin flame feminines are gonna get with soulmates because that's who we really are. Our wish come true is commitment at the end of the day. That's what it is. 11-11 uh, is the four of wands. But four of wands is commitment, right? So there's no point having your twin flame if you're there not committed. And that's the journey. That's what I feel. That's what this is healing, right? What do you want? Do you want your personal or do you want commitment? And I think that's what he's deciding at this time. King of Wands, King of Cups, yep, yeah, choices in love for the Divine Feminine. <coughs> Nine of Cups. <coughs> Whoops. So the King of Wands, sorry. underneath, yeah. Do you see the three guys there? This is like choosing another option in love for the Divine Feminine. And also there's something here about, yeah, it's just like sex. Like I said, it's casual, right? You see her naked, that's how you feel. It's just like, it's just sex. Now, you might not be saying it's sex, but it's casual. I don't give a shit if you say you're dating me. What's the point if no one knows? Do you see what I mean? <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it is. And it, it's And this sex part, it's like, it's more deeper than that because... Uh, a, a man is has a heightened sex drive and that's just quite normal for them not everyone but a lot of um built that way right with a high sex not high sex drive they're more heightened sexually than women right men they love sex a bit more right and that's not a broad statement but i'm just saying and that's with this naked card because there's something to do with sex here and it's like um, well, you're naturally into commitment, right? So why should we understand about you and your, oh, I'll come and see you and we love and we cuddle and we have sex and I've got a value, oh, well, you're a man and a man loves sex, but you won't value that I need commitment as a woman. That's this as well. The king of wands underneath that is, yeah, this is, uh, once again, I'm getting about your person trying to find the balance between uh, um, their passion and their other commit. And that's that's the fucked up thing about this situation is that the obligations that they're more focused on. I'm not going to say they're more focused on. that they commit to. It, I, I've got to make, it's not that they don't value you. It's not that they don't love you, but it's no progression. It's like if they done what they done with the third party, you'll feel happy, but there's nothing with that with you. So I don't even fucking know what to call it, to be honest with you, right? The king of wands to the eight, to the seven of wands is eight of wands. So it's like, <clears throat> there's some kind of, <clears throat> see my throat going, communication, which I've been saying all week, that they need to tell you, Tell the family something fucking here that needs to be done, right? And like I said, it's to do with, because um, to me, six of wands, how I'm reading this is, 
The victory is on the obligation side. You don't feel there's any fucking victory with your person. So they need to communicate to the obligations, the job, the family, the religion, the children. I am spending time with my partner, right? Something like that. Some kind of communication so that they can't make you an obligation, but then they are committed to you with the King of Wands here. And they're thinking about how to do that now. The King of Caps is, is here as well. Like I said, choices for you with the Divine Feminine. Uh, it's like... Yeah, you're not really... <clears throat> I feel you're a bit tender at this moment when it comes to love, right? Because of this situation with your person, but you don't want your person back. It's like you know they can make the changes, but they're choosing not to do it. So you're like, I don't want that anymore. The star car underneath the happiness is like I said, this is your wish come true and your happiness. What fo follow your uh, emotional desires of what your happiness is. And that's what you're kind of learning of like, okay, this this is the lesson for both of you in this reading of, like I said, with your person, it's like, yeah, people say kids make you happy. I understand that. But having your person, that love is different. That's what this is teaching your person because the divine feminine already know that. But you've got that love with your person, but nothing else, right? And some of you don't even get that your your person even mentions love. A lot of the divine masculines don't tell you they love you. And if they do tell you, if you're lucky, right, they don't, they don't show it to no one else. So what's the fucking point? And that's what you're learning here. I'm not happy with that. This is about your happiness, your wish come true. And you're like... All right, I might not get someone who's so good looking and passionate, I'm passionate about, but you might want to try the other side now of like, yeah, I, I might not get someone like that, but I might be, I mean, Nicole Kidman, this is an, just an example that just popped into my head, was married to Tom Cruise. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, he's quite a good looking chap. And she wasn't really known as a supermodel or good looking and stuff like that. Right. And, um, she ditched him and, and married, a. uh, I think he was an alcoholic and unknown. And uh, he was a kind of, uh, he, I think he, I don't know if he still is anyway, an unknown, let's say musician. And she just carried on and happy for life. So what I'm saying here is that, yeah, you might have someone who is coming across as like um, your twin flame and passion in that, but you know you can get someone else that will fulfill you. Another wish, another desire will come in. I feel, Like I said, I don't feel the divine feminine to feeling that this is changing. This is not... The other thing I got, like I said, I got a lot today, then I'll close this out, is that... Sorry, I had to pause it. Oh, what did I was saying? Uh, I, oh, I forgot. But um, there's something as well about um, <clears throat> you know that this isn't going to change. And there's something about communication. I've been having this all week. So there's either lack of, there needs to be communication, I already said, or there's some communication that's happened that you know that this person isn't changing.
There's something else, but it's gone. <laughs> the star card is very important as well. This is about healing, working on yourself, going for your wishes, going for your happiness. Like I said, the happiness card is here as well, right? And um, yeah, with the uh, Jupiter, this is connected to the world, a new cycle, a new world card, uh, a new uh, cycle is started with you taking back control of your world not that they were controlling you right but this is about yeah okay what i want in my life my happiness right it's not that your person that it's weird because it's like your person instead of climbing with you with happiness what your person does is like okay my person makes me happy you make your person happy my kids make me happy my family make me happy. My job makes me, generally their job don't make them happy. But, you know, my job, getting the money makes me happy. And that's how they plan their happiness. Instead of, as this planet is, focus more attention on what really makes you happy, right? So you make them happy. So heighten that connection with, uh, from day in to I'll just say this, but, you know, let's not get carried away. Dating to engagement to moving in to getting pregnant to whatever, the picket fence, right? No, this is what they do. She makes me happy. He makes me happy. Kids make me happy. Job makes me happy. Religion makes me happy. Family make me happy. Bunny hop, right? But you're the main happiness here. You actually emotionally fulfill them. I'm not saying that the children and the family don't, but like I already say at the said at the beginning, there's a variation of love, and you're the most heightened here. Whereas you, you you kind of do the same with your family. This planet is look for what really makes you happy and focus on that, right? And that's what they should be doing. Let's close this out. It's getting a bit long. codependent i keep saying there's something here that they need to talk about right yeah i was what i came back in with the same thing it's like as if they're holding all this green is anahata the heart chakra with inside of them but you see the 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 external the, the the actuality is quite dark within my alien oracle and this is like as if they have all this love and passion for you. Fucking who knows? Who knows? Right? And they might be saying to you, <clears throat> who cares? Why do you care? But that's the same thing, like I said, with the star card. It's like the same reason why you want more sex than me. That's why. Because I'm a woman, because I'm built that way. And some men are like that as well. It's not just a woman thing. It's like, why do you care about if I'm on your face? But why do you want so much sex? Why do you like stockings? It's the same thing, right? And that's what this is. <clears throat> this negative of holding it in is not <clears throat> focused. It's codependency. There's a negative pattern, a codependent pattern of I'm holding in my emotions. I'm holding in my emotions. Wherever they got that from, Right. That's your person. And that's their lesson which they need to go sort out themselves. Close this, close this out. I hope this resonates. If it doesn't, please check out someone else on this community. But I don't know why I say that at the end. Because if it doesn't, I'm sure you would have cut off by now. This is it's weird because this is about choices of love. But like I said, not like, well, actually, yes, I feel the divine feminine absolutely will be searching for other options of love as is, as if, as in a person. But this is more like choices of love of family, friends, <laughs> tradition, belief. That's what this is, right? Choices make it um, deciphering. Something like that with the choice, how how love is. I 
I think it's quite sad because I feel that the Divine Feminines is actually leaving their person. And that will be the catalyst to change. But once you leave, you won't want to go back. You won't. No. They need to, it's like you have to show that you want someone before they leave. When the Divine Feminine is at the point to leave, they're at the point to leave. That's what this is. I fear you will reject the real me. It's like they, there's two examples I'm getting. Some of them have been their real self in the past with a relationship. It fucked up so they don't become their real self and they hold back like I was explaining with this card. So this, I fear you will reject the real me. It's like they don't even, they, it's so long since they've been their true authentic self about loving you and all this kind of thing that they feel it's too much because they're so used to holding back over the years of being their true authentic self that they fear you will reject them. You might feel they're, smug, you're, they're smug, smothering you or whatever. There's a fear here of them being that true loving self. All right, then we'll just lose you then. What do you want? You know, that's what the divine feminine is probably. All right, then. Well, you hold back, be a dickhead and then lose me instead. No, you have to be your true authentic self. That's what this is. I ran out of, uh, yeah, same thing. Look, I ran out of fear that you will see the real me. The same thing here is like, um, they get close to you, they want to open up, and then they're just like, nah. That's what this, the universe, the stars, with the star card, the stars and the planets is like, well, right then, will you be a fake version of yourself? In it, it's, it's weird because, oh, that's what I was saying. It's like as if um, this is this catch-22. You're with a relationship, you meet your person, and they don't open up, right? They open up a little fucking bit. Ridiculous. And then it starts getting stupid, turbulent, arguments, shit, shitty, because your person's not opening up. And because we're heightened empaths, we can feel what they're truly like. So we know you love us. So why aren't you opening up, right? And they come with this pathetic story of like, no, I don't normally open up or, or whatever. When... You, you either like, well, that's bullshit, or why are you judging me on a past situation, right? So they're like, okay, I will open up. This is the fuckeries. I will open up when we stop being, like, shitty, when we're go all good. And it's like, well, it never will get good because you don't open up. That's the catch-22. This planet is about opening up to situations, right, and then self-healing when it don't work out, what your person is doing is like, I'm not going to open up, right, until I find out that we're all good, then I'll open up, don't work, so your person will never get that situation, hence I said, the divine feminine is only going to get one tower, because you know your person will meet someone else, and there won't be, because most feminines want, most humans want commitment, right, it's not just a woman thing, right, most of the women they're going to meet will soon say to that person, right, I want to see your kids, I want to see your family, I want to see... that's when the double towel will come in with your person, and that's what this is. So, uh, I don't know why I went into that. Uh, please give me time to heal my past pain. Like I said, this I think that's why I said, so there's two things going on. Some of them have had a past relationship, so now they're like, no, nah, I'm not doing that again, because that fucking hurt. And it's like, well, heal that situation, right? Yeah, it hurts in life, but heal it. Don't judge your new person on the past. So that, that's why, once again, a double towel for your person, because now they're going to feel that pain again because of that last situation fucked them over. They're going to lose you from the past of the situation, which is going to be double to them, isn't it? So they're going to be double scarred. So they need to heal their past pain. And to be honest with you, it's like with the Divine Feminine, I don't really give a fuck, right? I don't care anymore 
right? You got options here, right? I don't think they have options, to be honest with you. I don't think they have options. Divine feminines, you got options or options is coming in for you. So you can go. Because like I said, I feel like you're working on your healing or you're healed from this situation now. So now you're going towards your happiness. And that ain't your person, right? So you need help with this? Book someone in the community. Speak to you later.